time for our sixth bout of the afternoon. Introducing first into the blue corner, Sean Rutschen. And his opponent into the red corner, Ashley Bray. Introducing first the fighter in the blue corner, weighing 17.2 kilograms, fighter out of Reps MMA, Sean Watson. And his opponent of, oh, in the red corner, weighing 69.8 kilograms, fighter out of Full Impact Thai Boxing, Ashley Bray. Here we go then, sixth fight of the evening. And this should be a good one. We've seen Sean Watson before on hybrid fight, and he always comes to bring it. Definitely landed his foot. Oh, excellent takedown. Straight back up as well. Sean Watson looks like he's here meaning business. Oh, good shot. Good. Good. Ashley Bray looks a little bit scrappier, but he's definitely come to fight. Double unders here. Can he work a trip? Yes. Nice throw there by Ashley. Oh, two good body shots there by Sean. Yeah, ripping that body from Sean Watson there. Yeah. He really pulled his shoulder back and turned the shot in. It's nice to see. Oh, now he's dropped down for a single. Ashley pulls him up. Referee letting it work on the ring here. Hard to if dig for any type of underhooks here or anything like that, obviously with the boxing gloves it's... Yeah, it just make the wrestling side of stuff a little bit awkward. Yeah. But as we've seen, you can still land them big doubles and singles. Yeah, it seems to be a double, single or a trip seems to be your main... Uh, your main takedowns, obviously straight. You know, you, if you don't get them in the first five or ten seconds, you, you know, you, the referee's breaking you and we're restarting the action keeps a quick pace oh I think Sean wanted a knee to the head there thought yeah. about it <laughs> yeah Sean definitely wanted a knee to the head but you know, actually sneak a lovely knee through to the body and again and in the first round Ashley Bray's very game here he, he, he's a sneaky lad you know I think uh, Sean's a more technical fighter but Ashley's definitely come to fight and uh, he seems to have a bit of experience yeah, Sean's definitely more technical, probably more technical in an MMA, MMA sense as well. You know, he's got the takedowns um, in, his, in his locker if he needs them. But like you said, Ashley's definitely, uh, definitely game experience and definitely up for a fight. It's a very composed corner there that Sean Watson's got. You know, uh, Andre Wanna looking really relaxed, you know, just feeding him advice. He's, he's listening well for a young lad. Yeah, he's also got Jake in the corner with him as well. Um, just turned pro, won his first fight. I think he's got his next one coming up in the next couple of weeks. Very experienced, amateur level guy. Um, I'm sure he medalled at the World Championships as well over in Vegas. Um, I'm not sure what medal, I think it was a silver. So very experienced yeah, corner for Sean Watson. That's the top amateur there. Wants to watch himself when he leaps in with that uh, body shot there with the right hand. And forced to take down here, pressed against the ropes. Sean trying to get a bit of dirty boxing going. You can see the MMA coming through. Yeah. 
Left up, right hand. Good counter though by Ashley Bray. And again. Yeah, and again. Nice one, two on the way backwards there from Ashley Bray. Sean's got them double unders though. Can he suck the hips out and get a little trip? Looks like he's trying, and he does. And he Lovely it. technique. Ashley seems to have some good hips, so he seems to be defending the takedown well. Oh, oh, snapping shots. Massive shots by Ashley there. Yeah, that was a great, you know, four or five punch combo there. Sean's head was, was rocking back after each shot. Oh, Sean scores another takedown though, two this round. Yeah, it's good experience from Sean, you know, he got rocked for one or two of them shots, grabs the uh, body lock and, and, and scores a really nice outside trip. Good teep by Ashley though. Trying to work that teeth again. Ten seconds to go. Sharp jab by Sean. Good hands there. Good round turned in. So, tough round to score there. Right. Ashley got the better punches in. You know, rocked his head back four or five times. But Sean got a couple of takedowns. How would you score that one? Um, I think Sean was in control. You know, I'd definitely give the round to Sean. Uh, but there's, there's not a lot in it. Like you say, Ashley's he's definitely competing, but I'm going with Sean that round. I think Sean could benefit from just moving his head a little bit more. He seems to be winning everywhere. Like I mean, even with a stand-up, he's landing good shots, but he doesn't move his head and he doesn't step out after he, land, after he lands shots. And Ashley's crafty. He's catching him on the way out. You know, he needs to be in and out a bit more and moving his head if he is going to stay in. Yeah, and it's like he gets a little bit too comfortable in that pocket. You know, and he yeah. lands his shots and, you know, just take a step out. Yeah. It's out of yeah. range of Ashley. But he's definitely got a, a solid base for Sean. He's, a, he's another one to watch out for. The last two guys, both young prospects, looking great. So you now move away. Yeah, that was a lovely combo. Two free punches and finished that Luke. And he actually did step back at the other Yeah, he did. That's exactly what he needs to be doing. He could literally rip Ashley down there with the right leg, at the right knee, just block off Ashley's left knee and pull him down. Ooh, leaping left hook. Oh, what a well-timed spinning back kick there. Back fist there. And a takedown. Yeah, lovely spinning back fist and then uh, body lock into a side side takedown there. Sean's woke up this third round. A sneaky little veteran move there from Ashley. He was, uh, Sean took his back, I think he was looking for a sort of like a back suplex and then Ashley just dropped to a knee. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd hope that gets scored as a takedown though, I suppose, in some ways. It should do, it definitely should do, but you never know what the uh, judges are looking at. It shows a tie boxer against a, an MMA fighter, doesn't it? Yeah, it. definitely. Sean could deal with the front headlock quite, you know, the schoolboy headlock quite well. Slipped out to the back. Good fight like you anticipated though, Carson. Yeah, definitely. We've oh, seen, we seen Sean before, he's always in good fights, no matter what. Yeah. Again, showing uh, that he can mix it up there, a great little ankle pick. Yeah, quite an awkward take down to do with his big gloves on as yeah. well. Getting caught again though when oh. he's not moving his head. Nearly a lovely judo throw, but kind of just got stopped by the ropes here. Ah, and end of the, end of the fight, what a great fight. Yeah, that was a great fight. They really mixed it up. I mean, what, six, seven takedowns throughout that fight? Awesome techniques, kicks, punches, everything. Great fight there by Sean and Ashley. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. What a great fight. So after three rounds of action, we go to the treasure scorecards. And we have your winner. A unanimous decision. From the blue corner, 
John Watson. And please make some noise for Ashley Gray.